Hey guys, so today I have a very, very exciting unboxing. I have been waiting for this since the day it came out. Um, the day it came out, it basically sold out. And next thing was the pre-order, and I finally got it. So here is Hollow Taco. It comes in a box, just the regular box. Um, and then inside, it comes bubble wrapped. And then here is the box. And honestly, guys, this box is like one of the most beautiful boxes I have ever seen. I don't know if it's a cardboard box, but it doesn't feel like it. Let me do a close-up. You see, it's kind of like got some texture to it. And the coolest thing about this box is that if you use your flashlight and then you put it, look at that, you would just see hollow everywhere. It really like shines back so let me leave my phone here so you guys could see it and then if we open it ah! it is absolutely beautiful isn't that gorgeous i think it's beautiful this box is definitely a box that you kind of want to put on display. You don't want to get rid of it. It's not just a cardboard box. I have ordered indie nail polish in the past and it usually just comes in like a cardboard box. But this one, I don't know, they've sealed it with something that just makes it feel a little different. So basically for this video, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to swatch the nail polish and I'm going to do a wear test. I'll wear it for a week just to see if the hollow deteriorates at all. I have like a million percent expectations that this is going to be a great product product i am biased i watch simply nailogical every saturday at nine or whenever she puts a video i don't care like i love her um i was really into nail art before i started nursing school and she basically did nail art but funnier and um you know she went really big with the whole um, Polish Mountain. I have some of her like shirt merchandise. I'm not wearing it today, which I should have. Um, so when she came out with this, I was, it's honestly the one like YouTuber merchandise that I've been dying for. Yes, I love my palettes and everything else, but honestly, since nail polish was my first love when this beauty world, um, I was the most excited for this. So let me show you at least one, um, box of the polish so I'm just gonna pick a random one this is the scattered hollow taco which is probably the one that I am the most um, excited about it's like that very beautiful um, it's honestly she really put a lot it seems like she put a lot of effort and thought into this product and this is how the bottle looks so it isn't it beautiful it's gorgeous and, of course, her logo's on the top. It's a scattered, scattered hollow on the bottom. So, I'm going to try the black, the one coat black, and the royalty blue. And then, I'm going to try some other of my regular polishes um, that I've always wished were hollow and see how that works. Um, and for the wear test, I'm just probably going to wear royalty the whole time. Maybe uh, royalty and uh, the one coat black accent finger and uh, I'll wear that for the rest of the week. I still don't know if I'm going to divide the videos um, depending on how long this video is. So let's get started. This is kind of like my cute little nail polish collection. I got my a lot of drugstore as you could see. I got my cute little Live Love polish and then I got a few of the indie brands. So, I think the colors that I'm going to choose is this one. And there's a purple. I know there's a purple. Where's the purple? Oh, here's the purple. This one. I'm using my cute little Twinkle Tea Glamour Mat. Um, just so that I don't get anything on the surface. And I have my hand right here all ready to go. So, first thing I'm going to go with is Royalty. Next, I'm going to go with one coat black. Wow. Guys, this actually really is one coat black. Like, I'm 
amazed. I'm honestly really shocked. I know I may not sound like it. But I'm honestly shocked at the opacity of that black one. Then I'm going to go with this OPI nail polish and the color Susie and the Dusseldorfs. I've always thought this shade is beautiful, but honestly, it's sometimes a little bit bland. It's just a normal shade to wear to work. And lastly, I'm going to go with this other OPI shade, and the shade is called Koala Berry. To make my nail polish dry faster, I'm going to use this Sally Hansen Insta Dry. I used to use the Super Chic Lacquer, but I ran out, so I just ran to the drugstore. And I got this one. So it'll kind of be a wear test for this too, I guess. The thumbnail is just chilling. Okay guys, so my nails are dry now. It was actually really quick uh, that top coat really dries them up real quick and nice so now I'm going to start putting that hollow taco so the first hollow taco I'm gonna put is the linear hollow taco also guys the handle on these is very very nice I'm using my cell phone light and do I see that hollowness it's actually really beautiful next I'm gonna use the scattered taco Do you see that? It's actually really beautiful, but it's very, very kind of like businessy. It's not exaggerated. It's really beautiful. Last but not least, it's the flaky hollow taco. This is actually the one that I was the most excited about. I think in the beginning of the video I said I was excited for the scattered, but I was mistaken. It was this one. I have never seen one like this out at the drugstore at all, so I'm super excited. Guys, it is for real my absolute favorite out of all of them. Oh my god, look at it. Look at it. I don't know if I'm actually getting such a good quality from this, so maybe I'll just use my phone to record this, but it's honestly beautiful. On this one, I'm also going to do the flaky just to see if they look the same because this one on black looks like a complete galaxy to me. I don't have any... Uh, light on it besides natural light and it looks amazing so I'm gonna see if it looks just as good on this one here it is it's absolutely beautiful on the blue one as well as you guys can see oh my god yes so I decided to use my camera to film this so that you could see kind of what they look like um, so I'm definitely, definitely, I think I'm going to go with the flaky on my wear test. And, um, I think I'm just going to do them all black and then the accent blue just because I absolutely love how that black one looks. Look at it. It's not even focused and it's beautiful. Let's see if I could make it focus. Guys, I don't know. I can't get it to focus, but honestly, out of focus, it looks amazing. They swatch absolutely beautiful, if I do say so myself. And look at this pink one. That looked super boring before it's looking amazingly beautiful now so I'm very happy with my manicure and yes here is how it looks day two it does not look any more different than yesterday. And this is the linear and flaky. So every time I wanted to focus on it, it doesn't. But as you can see, there are bigger pieces and there are smaller. It honestly looks like a beautiful galaxy. I'm so happy and I'll keep checking in with you guys. Hey guys, so this is day three. And honestly, uh, before shooting this video, I was like, all the days are going to look the same, but 
I guess not. If you look at this middle nail, it's kind of foggy. I honestly don't think it's the hollow taco. I think it might have been that I kind of, you know, like scraped it or maybe the top coat fell out. I don't know. Maybe it chipped. But it's just, I wish it could focus. But I don't know if you see that right there. Right there. It's kind of foggy for some odd reason. But other than that, my hands look great in both. Let me switch the camera. Or let me switch my hand. And see nothing bad here. So yeah, it's not the hollow taco. I think it's just my own personal fault that I kind of either scraped it off or the top coat chipped i'm not exactly sure so um depending on how busy i am tomorrow because it's already nighttime today i will be adding more top coat okay love you hey guys so this is actually the final check-in for my nails um i did this august 27th which was a tuesday and it is Wednesday, September 4th, so it's been um, a little over a week as of right now, and it's been great. The nail polish has not deteriorated. I did get one chip here and a semi one here, but look at that. It's still glowing. I've gotten tons of compliments, so, so yeah, I'm very happy with how it looks from afar, from near, from everywhere. And yeah, so if you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching.